Alright, so this is uh, episode 20 for my uh, Outer Worlds walkthrough. And the last episode I just got to Byzantium. So in this one I have to... Yeah, basically in the last episode I got to Byzantium, met with Minister Clark, and he told me that he is not responsible for anything, and that I should head to... Uh, uh, the Chairman Rockwell's office. God, I'm trying to remember some of these names. I'm just like, uh. All right. Well, yeah, Chairman Chairman Rockwell's office. It I is. Never could have handled the desk job. Acropolis District discovered. get the urge to just hawk one on the floor? Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti-Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. How do I get upstairs? Take your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Oh, I got a card, haven't I? Yeah, there you go. Um, is this official enough for you? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Fine. Now, well, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? I can wait. Well, how nice for you. Do you have any idea how long it takes to request new forms? Or how many citations I'll get for impeding HHC business in the meantime? Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny? And they'll paint the walls with your guts. Okay, I'll, I'll bear that in mind. Everyone, you know, is just, you know, threatening me. Wants to be dead. If I take away anything from this game, is that everyone who lives in this sector of space are just assholes. Well, he wasn't kidding about the armed guards. God. It would take me way too long to shoot my way through these guys. Let's see if I can bluff my way through. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Uh, what exactly do you do here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant's stationery. Which is more of a hobby. Any chance I could meet Chairman Rockwell? Ah. Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? I'll be on my way. Something I can do for you? Entering quiet mode. How was there a giant detected minimal? How was there a giant hole in the wall? Okay, so clearly something happened here. I 
I mean, I ain't no genius, but uh, I doubt that's part of the refurbishment. Dying young. What do I do now? Do I go downstairs? Yeah, because apparently I do. God, I hate this objective finder so much. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. You should get back to your desk. I saw somebody eyeing your stationery. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Jackass. There is something to be said about putting a lot of points in the Persuade and Lie perk. Oh well, skill, isn't it? Not really a perk in this. Yeah, perks. Probably the best game I've seen to use perks has to be like RPG anyway, it has to be like Fallout when you've got the perk sheet. Um, this, the perks are kind of just meh. Just, you know, you get like. An extra 30% damage, an extra this, an extra that. But I think that's also because in Fallout, the amount of stuff you can do is also quite, uh, quite you know, varied. Like you can build, call, you can build like a settlement, build this, and 
Some of the perks help you find better scrap and bullets, etc. Can't imagine this game having anything like that. Internal anatomy. Okay, now, now it's the case of finding out where the bloody hell this uh, objective mark is pointing. Oh. It's okay, I'm a doctor. I don't care if you're a brain surgeon. If you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Worth a try. You'd be surprised how often that works. Like I said, X-36 clearance only beyond this point. How's this for clearance? I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Let me through right now, or your official record won't be fit for polishing floors. What? Waste my time, and I'll bury you so deep in citations you'll die of paper cuts before you ever crawl out. Oh no. You must be from Chairman Rockwell's office. I'm so sorry. No one told me you were coming. Please, go on through. And let's forget this misunderstanding, huh? God, people are so scared of paper cuts in this world. Are there any, like, stairwells or something? Ooh, there's a elevator here. Why does the gun keep coming out every time I, uh, you know, I hit something? It's annoying. Ah, oh. he looks kind of cute. In that kind of, you know, he'll probably bite my finger off and eat it kind of way. Wait, what? I thought I had clearance to be in you. Ah, oh, it's all gone red, isn't it? Ah, uh, you bitch. No, oh, I thought I had clearance to come down here. Ah. Uh, what's going on? What do I do? How do I? Uh. Okay, how do I get up there? Ah. Well, things are starting to come around my way, I hope. Oh, walls. <laughs> oh, of course not. Oh, you bitch. I don't suppose any of these guys have a key card, maybe?
Well, this is a problem, isn't it? Uh, what? Ah, uh, screw it. This is supposed to be a reload. Yeah, I hope I don't get shot when I leave this place. Ugh. Can't even get in there. No, I don't. I'm not, what? No! Stop offering me these weird things. Just help me get into this bloody room. Oh, thank God for that. There's no mini-map as well, that's the problem, I think. One of the problems, anyway, with the, the HUD. There's no mini-map. Some of these areas are just really annoying to get around. Come to think of it, though, if they did have a mini-map, I'd probably be just as confused. Uh, judging by how the bloody objective marker jumps from one thing to another. Experimental integrity and test subject vitality can be maintained by leaving a Does everybody still want me dead, though? No. No, they do not. Alright, that was easy. Just went in. Yeah, just went in and grabbed it. That wasn't particularly hard. Yeah, I'm curious actually as to now when it, like, now that I've played a few more of the main missions as to whether or not this game gets any harder towards the end. Because I would have thought it would have gotten a little bit more difficult now. Like it's difficult at the start, but it's difficult because you don't have anything. And now I've got like 600 rounds for the carbine, plasma carbine, and I got the the revolver that does a lot of damage. It just makes me wonder if I'm, like, just, <laughs> just 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 very well equipped, or if the game is just suspiciously easy. Because I'm pretty much well, actually not. I'll I'll do the early one now. 
Journal. No, where, where, where are her parents? Oh, of course they are. They're right here. Well, that was good positioning There's on my, my part. Place. Smell that? In that was really good positioning on my part. Oh, Mama, we are home. Marilyn, is that you? Laws, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. It's a uh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, thank you for welcoming us into your home. I don't know what to say. He's usually not like this. Come on, you're supposed to help me make an impression. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <coughs> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Theft, vandalism, profanity. Yeah, name it. We've done it at least twice. Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. Um, I'll just listen quietly. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. Hold up, these floors aren't just nice, they're top quality marble. He's right. Since when can you afford authentic Terran marble? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Why do I get the feeling you people are about to apologize for something? We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather, uh, substantial. You what? Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Let's go, Ellie. We've got better things to do than hang around with these two. Damn right, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. Let's talk outside. Alrighty. That wasn't a long quest either. <laughs> I get the feeling I, it's not going to be too long before I finish this game. Yep. Can you believe those two? We'd hardly been there a minute and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. Uh, 
They shouldn't have gotten so upset. I wanted them to get upset. I just thought it would play out differently. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open mouthed. Come on, Ellie, we don't have time to dwell on this. I know. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. Trust me, this was for the best. I'd love to know how you've described getting kneecapped. This episode reflects on them, not you. But I want to talk about me now. You can learn something from this. It's up to you to determine what that is. Can I just have a drink and punch some poor defenseless pillow instead? Anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like... Wait a second. What if I could get that money? Keep talking. I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. So how do we do this? My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. Alright, let's go then. Dummy beneficiary account. What, what, when did I get stuck doing, doing some of this? I'm a freaking captain slash sort of space pirate slash right. colonist from Earth. Where, where, when did I start making beneficiary accounts to scam people out of life insurance? Am I going the right way? Yeah, I guess I am. I guess we're going to Fallbrook. <sighs> this is like, does does no one have business that's that can be maintained? And it's like done on one planet. Everyone's like, no, we have to go to this place and then this place and then this place. It's like, ugh. go to Fallbrook secondly, I have to go and see Phineas first. See whatever the hell he needs. Yeah, I'll do some research on the. Like, I'll, I'll look up the. Uh, uh, I the hard I mode. Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Yeah, I'll like I said, I'll uh, look up the. What's it called? Uh, the supernova mode, the, the, the hard survival mode, just to see if it is like a proper hard survival mode, because uh, Days Gone's survival mode has kind of soured me on those types of things. Especially when I played it and it was like, 
but it was just bloody pathetic. You know, and I like that game. I like Days Gone, probably one of my favourite games of the year. But it's still a pathetic survival mode. Where all they really do is just hold, like, hide the HUD. Okay, and that's okay. it. So I was watching this program. You know Princess of Hephaestus? That late show about the freedom fighter. That's not Pavardi. Oh. Hook. She finally kissed her sweetheart, Miss Yuko. <laughs> wow, are you serious? I gotta get a copy of that. Okay, I'm gonna head to Phineas's place. I understand. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. Uh, let's skip the pleasantries. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. All right, convince me. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You want me to sell him out? Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, Come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Okay, let's get out of here. So Wells was a psychopath. There's nothing really new there in that conversation. It's all stuff I know already. But, uh, yeah, I doubt I'm gonna... At Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Right, well, I uh, doubt I'm going to portray Phineas, uh, mostly because I just don't trust anyone, any of the other factions, really. Like, each of them have their own ends and means, etc, etc. But, uh, yeah, don't really trust the board. Uh, don't really trust Phineas, for that matter. But then again, he did get me out of... Uh, cryo sleep at the start of the game, so I owe him something, I guess. No. Careful, that's my communications terminal. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Forget about the, the, the chemicals for a second. The colony is on the verge of collapse. It gets worse. The chairman is planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. 
I found your chemicals in the Ministry. The board was, uh, testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. These are all the chemicals I could get, though. Um, any more and I would have killed the subjects. to think about this. There has to be something that we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. There, there's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. Merciful, gibbering law! You're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to root power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? Experimental methods for killing noxious life forms are not covered under this unit's limited liability agreement. Well said, whatever you are. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Alright, I'll do it. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. The adjutant asks me to uh, plant a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. You've got a plan of some sort? The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. I get it. You want to prepare. The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Alright. I'll be back. It's not taking much to level up either. Alright. 
send corrupted tracking signal. Okay, well, what I am going to do though is probably call it a day. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you've gotten to the end of this video, then God bless you. It means a lot uh, for checking this out. If you could leave a like for the episode and a comment down below, comment on whatever you like, and I'll try and get back to you. Um, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next episode, you take care of yourself.